way to eat them. They're beautiful. Oh, Thank you, Mo. so lovely. We'll tell you what everything is. OK. Yeah. And then we're going to make a vegetarian pepper pot soup. OK. So we will enjoy it as well. <laughs> we, that's what our lunch is today. That's and right. what are you making, Doug? I am going to do a pineapple in a caramel sauce. Mm -hmm. um, the caramel sauce with some garnish with some strawberries. And ice cream. Oh, wow. Cheers, my darling. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. What's this here that you were talking about? This pot? This is a Dutch pot. Right. Yeah. And it's an iron pot. And it's great for making things like dumplings, stews, chicken. In this pot, you can do something like a steamed chicken. Right. And you just put the seasoning in with the chicken, put the lid on. And you put the water, the steam, and it just cooks really beautiful and tender. What's special about these pots, then? It's it's a it's a very it's a very special pot in Jamaica, isn't it's it? It's very Ralph? special. I think it was because it was cheaper to make, yeah. and they had the yeah. metal, so they could beat them That's out. That's right. And if you drive along the roadside, yes, you see, you see all the Dutch pot hung got. They yeah. look pretty good, actually. I've got an enormous one that weighs twenty five pounds that I took back on a plane as hand luggage. <laughs> In fact, I tried to sneak it on the plane in my suitcase. <coughs> and the suitcase was so heavy with this duchy and the rest of my stuff, nobody would lift it. So in the middle of the airport, it was quite embarrassing. I had to put my case down and take this duchy out. And I had nothing to wrap it in, so I came back with it under my arm as hand luggage. <gasps> I'm not leaving my duchy. <laughs> I'm not blaming it's very really important. They're really important. They're like, a, they're like the wok, really. Yeah. And yeah. this is our Caribbean wok. Yeah. And I think because Caribbean food is a mixture of everything, I think that's why they made it like that. We yeah. have the Chinese in Jamaica. That's right. We have the Germans mm -hmm. in Jamaica, German mm -hmm. town. Oh, that's right. We have everyone, Syrians, Indians. Everybody's Syrians, there. That's the why we get on well. Mm, yeah. Really nice. So, yeah. The peelings from the yam, the bananas, the plantains. These are used to feed the animals, such as the pigs and the cows and the goats. So what happens is, if you have a home where people, well, everybody cooks a lot, and you would never, ever cook for one person. Right. <laughs> um, you have a big pot, don't you, Russ? Yes. So oh. Well, I was thinking pot. of a big pot to do it in today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that one. And that's because if, <clears throat> even if I lived on my own, I could, there's no way I could cook for just me. I have to cook enough so if a neighbour pops in, or local <laughs> exactly. children, or if you know there's somebody in the village where you live who's poor and can't afford anything, exactly. then it's your duty once you've cooked a meal to make sure everybody would get um, their supper. <laughs> yes. food and yes. it would be would be covered up yeah. and and wrapped up with a nice tea towel to keep it warm <laughs> and so there's you know there's a really nice community spirit so all the peelings from the yams and all the other vegetables goes into a big pan then it's boiled in the evening and in the morning it's like used to feed the animals that's it Excellent. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's such a long time ago God. yeah when was um, it Oh, I'll leave it with you. I was probably drunk. Now I wasn't. <laughs> no. the, first, the first time we met was actually, um, it was at a food thing that Rusty was doing. And I was actually going around with a tin. I tin money like I'm always doing. <laughs> and I chased her away. Right. <laughs> tin money for um, the, ex, the Jamaican ex-servicemen. And I spent, ended up spending the whole day on Rusty's stand. Um, <laughs> Have you ever cooked together before? Yes, yes. we cook all the time. I put them here. <laughs> as long as there's a kitchen, you'll find us cooking. In there. It's <laughs> like our comfort zone. <laughs> there we go, that. Thanks very much. Okay. Let's that away. And what sort of styles of food do you do? Is it always Caribbean or, you know? Mixture, really. Yeah? Mixture. What else do you like doing, Rusty? Me? Yeah. Badminton. <laughs> badminton. I tell me about our badminton joke. Yes, tell me. <laughs> What's your idea of badminton? <laughs> what I, I tell you about our badminton joke. I said, um, 
I'm going to badminton to, I'm going to, I'm going to badminton. And she's, oh, lovely, is it that time of year already? I said, oh, pardon. I said, badminton with the shuttle and the racket. <laughs> I enjoy swimming very much and I enjoy exercising if you believe it or not. <laughs> when I can get there, obviously I haven't got there quite often. <laughs> oh dear. As long as you're happy, darling, that's what matters. I am. So, Dorothy, it's the races for you, is it? Oh, I love the races. I love horses. <laughs> I love donkeys. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm horse mad, donkey mad, race mad. You I'm... told her about your donkeys? No, I haven't told her about Dorothy and Gwyneth. What's that? <laughs> Two donkeys that I have, <laughs> and um, one of them's named after me. A black one and a white one. <laughs> no need to ask which one's Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where no, did they I'm... come from? Where did the donkeys um, come from? They were a Christmas present one year, but unfortunately I can't have them with me. Very difficult to keep two donkeys in a flat in London. <laughs> so um, I go to see them as often as possible. So where are they in London? In Hampshire. Which is your? <laughs> yeah, where um, where I lived with my partner before. But the donkeys are very intelligent animals, you know. They recognize your voice. You can teach them to do things like I've taught my two to do. Eat things that donkeys normally don't, don't eat. Like what? I thought donkeys Ice cream, <laughs> <laughs> um, sorbets, and strawberries. They're posh donkeys, are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're posh donks. <laughs> Starts every, you know, usually people say, Oh, it'd be difficult to find Dorothy if Holy Week is on. <laughs> She's there at one of the days if it's Holy Week. Lovely <coughs> eating competition. And because my mother's <coughs> uncle, Uncle Aubrey, was sort of terribly la di da, mm -hmm. my mother couldn't wait to go home. So she came home, told my grandmother. That cousin Roy had won a dumpling eating competition. And my mother, my grandmother knew the seriousness, you know, of his father being told. Beg my mother, for God's sake, Dora May, do not Dora May. <laughs> do not go and tell your uncle that his son has won a dumpling eating competition. Of course, my mother could not wait. She uh, told him, No, Uncle Aubrey, did you know Roy has won a competition? And apparently he says, well, Dora May, what do you expect? Any child of mine, yes, good stock, good brown stock. <laughs> good brown stock. What do you expect? Of course he's going to excel and win competitions. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm so proud of Roy. I'm so, I'm so proud of Roy. And um, he goes on and on and on, and then eventually he says, by the way, Dora Mae, what competition did Roy win? And she said, it's a dumpling meeting competition, Uncle Aubrey. Well, he was so angry. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He, he, oh, oh, don't you make me cry? He was, he was so angry. And it's oh, something he got so angry. It was something that sort of caused rupture in the family for years. <laughs> Ladies. Why no aprons? Yeah, why no aprons? Oh, I, I generally use an apron actually. Yeah? Well, I, I, I just feel it's the year 2000. <laughs> um, you know, if you're going to cook, um, don't cook looking down. Cooking is so therapeutic. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? Be like, um, what's the lovely lady's name with Johnny? With Johnny? Um, with. Uh, What's her name again? Johnny, Johnny, um, Johnny. Oh, Clarissa. Cla not Clarissa, no, no. no. 
between bananas and plantain? They are the same family. And the banana, you can have them green as well, they're just bigger. You look at the sizes, they just grow bigger. They're the same family. If you cut them, they are, you, let me show you. You couldn't eat these raw. You couldn't eat these like this. Right. You can't eat it as you would a banana. It's the same. Yeah. You just can't eat, you just simply can't eat it like that. Right. Well, so you're the being casual too with that. Tiny egg. See, same family, right. uh, same as the ordinary ripe banana, but look different. Yeah. Even the colour, you see. So, but you have to cook this, you definitely have right. to cook it. Whether just you... the tummy ache, or? <laughs> <laughs> just the tummy ache. Just tummy ache, yes. <laughs> it's like eating a raw potato. You know, yes. if you had a raw potato, then yes, um, you'd be asking for trouble. There's a big smile on her face and she goes, look what I've got. It's <laughs> just you. Here, give me your ear. And there's be like an earring like going in my ear. And stuff. <laughs> oh. Fabrics we like as well. Because yeah. we both sew. Oh, wow. Yes, love so sewing. We're both into soft furnishing. And I made all the curtains in the house. Really? Yeah, I should yeah. have put the other piece. I don't put the camera off there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that is the piece. <laughs> the piece that goes across the there. Yeah. It goes like that at the top. But it's in the wash. <laughs> Actually, it's upstairs. We just need to touch it. But we had it painted, so... Didn't paint it specifically, but we had it painted. And it's since I took it down, I've This is it when you decorate, stuff come down and then it's like, you take your time sort of putting them back, back up, up, don't you? Tell me. Oh, and that oh. hook in with and stick it in your yeah. mouth. It's disgusting. It's so bad, it Makes you know. me feel sick. I mean, okay, if you're I've a mom it. and you've got a cold and you're cooking a meal for your children and you've stuck that spoon in there and it's stuck in your mouth, it's just not hygienic. It's uh, terrible. Why like give your family, you know, your... Yeah. What's and yes, all, darling? <laughs> what do you think of Jamie Oliver then? Pardon? What do you think of Jamie Oliver? He's all that. Yeah, no, it? it's uh, terrible. I like it. It's the I like him, the... but the licking and all that. It's just what I haven't been taught. I've been taught that you have to be hygienic in cooking. You can't be licking and. Yeah. You have to be hygienic. You have yeah. to be clean because you know yourself, people know you, but other people who are coming to you. eat with you don't know you, so right. I think people need to know that you're hygienic so they know whatever's happening behind closed doors, it's clean. Mm. And that's, that's our... the colour then? Yes, but it, yes, it will give that. I kept on looking at it when I stopped in the ceiling. Why are you in there? <laughs> Why is this in there? <laughs> I don't know, we're going to get a few much of it. Miss D. Yes, darling. Okay. 
Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> you have to have a laugh at the end of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Don't film the cop all <laughs> the limbs they got. <laughs> I should have done. <laughs> <laughs> It's good if you can actually enjoy the cooking bit of it too, oh, eh? Sorry. It's yeah. good if you can enjoy the whole... Mm. Oh, gosh, yes. It's very therapeutic, you know. Yes. <laughs> we'll put the world to rights in the kitchen, I think. Do you? Oh, yes. Well, at least our lives to right. <laughs> put our lives to rights in the kitchen. Oh, no, you don't. This wouldn't be... Jasmine and all the different ones are really nice. I like to have them burn it. It's good. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're the really worried, aren't you? Worried, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, you really are friends, aren't you, you two? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Great friends. Great friends. Yeah. Great more friends. Than, for me, more than, I know it's the same, for, but for me, more than a friend. You know, we were talking in the car and I was telling you that I've lost both my parents. Well, Rusty's my guardian angel. Because oh. <laughs> um, I've just had such a, you know, a really, really traumatic time recently, and she's always been there. Um, I mean, who drives 200 and odd, almost 300 miles across country to come and hold your hand at a funeral and stuff like that, and make sure you're okay? So yeah, it's just. It's, it's more than more than oh. a friend. <laughs> you have to make me cry. <laughs> <coughs> but do you have the same interests, would you say? Um, we both like sewing. We both like sewing. We both like fashion. Yes, we both like art. Yes. Um, and the only thing that we slightly sort of differ a bit is I like to sort of get my hands into dirt and, and garden. I don't, and no. Stuff. No? No. Yeah. No, I don't like gardening. I like buying pot plants. <laughs> I like buying pot plants or things. I like to see them already done. Yeah. But, um, as I, like, I like planting. I like putting seeds in and no. nourishing them no, and watching them grow. Or I like sort of, you know, just putting on a pair of wellies and an old lana rack and a, a scarf on my head and raking up the leaves in a garden. and. There's Making a lot at the front if I you know. want. <laughs> <laughs> Making things like a compost heap and, you know, putting in my bulbs and watching them grow up and sort of knowing what time to cut wherever. Um, but you just prefer to... Um, yeah, I prefer to deal with the kitchen things, make, yeah. sew and make things and clean things. Oh, yes. Like yeah. Cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> you like cleaning? Yeah. I like cleaning <laughs> And, and you like ironing as well. I don't mind it. If, yeah. I, if, if I've got to sit to it, I'll yeah. do it. Well. I don't mind it. I don't <laughs> really mind it. If, I, if I'm sat down doing it, yeah. I'll, I can do the whole world of ironing. Yeah. But if I don't have to do it, I wouldn't. If I don't mm. mind doing it. Mm. <laughs> but yes. as regards, and you don't like ironing. <laughs> No, 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 no. And Dorothy, you've got a, a background in fashion, haven't you? Yes, yeah. I've been a fashion and photographic model, and um, because it's like, it was like a growing up period with me, like, you know, growing up with, with fashion around me, and seeing all the designers, um, people like Jeff Banks, um, Mary Quant, Jean Muir, mm. all the people that were around when I was a model, um, and how much they've grounded British fashion and, and what they've done because the fashion industry is so important and I go along places like Great Portland Street now and I want to cry because I can remember when I first started every showroom, every shop front along there was a fashion showroom and if you were a model and it was in the season and you didn't have a job you would just walk along Great Portland Street and you know that you would get a job doing a season. Now 
there hardly anybody, you know, there's hardly anybody there. There's like a couple of wholesalers mm. and stuff, and it's all imported stuff. And the fashion industry is so important for us, but unfortunately, like the Germans or like the Italians, it's not nourished enough, which is just so sad. Mm. So uh, uh, I think because we, we mix well yeah. with everything that we do, we get mm. on very well. Yeah. Uh, we don't overtake each other on things. No. Dorothy does m a lot of fashion, and I do the cooking. <laughs> and Dorothy helps me with the cooking, and yeah. Dorothy can cook as well. And yeah. we might sew something together. It's just a good mixture. Mm. And we both have our own recipes mm -hmm. where we we bounce things off each other. <laughs> um, because I've spent so, had a life where. Always through my life, I've like spent. Um, I've been backwards and forwards as a child, so I've got like the Caribbean and yes. England. Whereas there's uh, sort of little things when you were taken away. Yeah, you I was are. taken away as a baby. That's right. <laughs> so she's like. So I didn't get a chance to smoke. That's right. Um, <laughs> to church, you leave. <laughs> Yes, tell us about your first uh, yes, experience with smoking. The, 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 the chocha plant, which is a vegetable in Jamaica, and it has a beautiful vine leaf. And it, when it dries, it looks so much like a t it is exactly like a tobacco leaf. And, you know, as a child, everybody wants to experiment with smoking. I did. It doesn't matter what part of the world. Yes. You want to experiment with smoking. Well, the day I decided to experiment with smoking, you know, I got my chocha leaf, I rolled it, I wrapped it in brown paper, that was my cigar paper, oh. just brown, in fact I tore the paper off, I think one of my grandmother's book covers or something, oh. wrapped it, got my batch, got my piece of paper, but I didn't realise you had to roll the paper, so I just slit the paper which just flared up and burnt my face, oh. Oh. so that was it, I just <laughs> never ever smoked again. So there you go, that's the way to <laughs> stop Take your children to the Caribbean and introduce them to choke. To leave? <laughs> they will never smoke, smoke again. again. <laughs> and you didn't? No, no, never touched it um, after that. <laughs> and you're both interested in art as well, yeah? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, but you, you like, um, I like this sort of art, this sort of, you know. Yeah art that you can really understand <laughs> you just look at it and it takes you into it yeah. right and you go wider you go wider yeah don't I, you, with I, your I, art? I go wider with my art where uh, like this sort of art it's caribbean art yes. and i remember when i first saw these paintings i could tell straight away where they came from by the style of painting mm -hmm. at the moment i have two artists that i collect their work um, a belgian lady called um Catherine K. Max, another one, uh, an English lady called Rachel Deacon. And um, I've got quite a lot of Catherine K. Max's work, which is really nice. Beautiful. Um, and most of them are self portraits, you know, these big, big, big ladies. They're with red massive hair ladies. There. Um, and Outrageous. So, yeah, ladies. and so that's so nice. And I was really pleased the other day when the lady who, who is their agent in England told me that I have got more Catherine K. Max pieces <laughs> than anybody else. Wow. Um, and she she was closing her gallery, but Catherine has my name and address and, you know, was going to keep in touch. Um, and as you grow up and you get older, you realise, well, oh, hold on a second, art goes up in value. <laughs> and um, I'm her best friend. Best friend. <laughs> That's it. Well, James, um, Ross's son, who you met, who is also my baby, and he, he finds we me quite, quite overprotective because the things she'll allow him to do, I, I, I mean, well, it's because I've never sort of actually given birth to a child, so... I, I don't realise that if you're 17, it's okay to go on the underground by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not going. No, you, could, no, you can't go on. Um, James, James um, likes the Rachel Deacon stuff, so that's nice. Um, and also, yeah, because I don't have kids, I just sort of like, if my friends sort of came round and there's something that they like, it's, it's so nice if they can say to me, I like that. 
And then you know, well, God forbid if anything happens, that person likes that. So they get exactly little things that they can remember you by. Oh, stop it! No, 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 it's not being morbid. But things that they can cherish. Oh, for heaven's sake. Or if you get older and you just want to give your things away, you know the sort of people who want them and you know who, to, you know, who, um, Don't. Don't even go there. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, I also, but I also like Jamaican art. Um, I've got a, a few pieces of um, Jamaican pictures and stuff. There's one lady called Gloria Scoffrey. I've got um, quite a lot of her work because she was once my art teacher. So I've had like the odd piece of her work from I was at school. Um, she's quite nice, really. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear me. Nope. I love the. Um, elephant as well. The egg with a painting of the elephant. So I'm also elephant mad. Are you? Yes, I love elephants. <laughs> Have you been on safari? Or? No, I've never actually been on safari, but I've been to... The idea, we because we get on so very well and we thought it would be lovely. It's nothing like this has ever happened no, in the world where no. there are two Caribbean ladies Absolutely. who are good friends anyway, we get on very well and we thought we could work together because yeah. Dorothy loves gardening Ooh, yes. and fashion as I like love mm -hmm. fashion too and we thought we'd put this together. Yeah and also what's nice for us coming from Jamaica a lot of those stately homes have got Jamaican connections. Really? Yeah. A whole lot of them have got con connections where um, a son would have been sent off to the Caribbean, yes. whatever, and they've made their money from sugar and it's been brought back and it's like, you know, built... A, a dynasty, really. A dynasty, that's right, or mm -hmm. a beautiful pile somewhere, so... Pile of... like you know like sort of all the the different places we've got in Jamaica like Trelawney mm. and Portland there's an Earl of Portland there's a Trelawney um, or even things like Hawes Bank um, even Kingston you shopped in Kingston yesterday right, yes. you were yeah. in, yeah. shopping in Kingston, Kingston yeah um, in London and there's a Kingston, Kingston in, in Jamaica, Jamaica. Um, so there's just so many connections there um, and even for me with the surname Otty that's actually from a Yorkshire town. It was originally Otley. Mm. And my ancestor, who was a very, very naughty boy, <laughs> <laughs> was given some money and put on a ship out to the Caribbean. And he married five women. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So all the, all the people on the island with my surname are, are related. Um, and there is it's such a, um, a family in Yorkshire the Otleys that I'm related to. And isn't there another Otty that we might know that you're related to? Oh yes, the um, the athlete, but um, <laughs> unfortunately for my sins, eh darling, I'm not, um, I'm not athletic. I know my limitations, <laughs> yeah. And you should see, you should see me playing badminton. Tell them how oh. I play badminton. <laughs> we we talk about the badminton. And, 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 and you played, oh yes, yes I guess school. I played at school. 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 So that I was played, a long time ago. <laughs> so I play fairly well. For you someone. play excellent. You Thank really you very good. much. I like to think so, yeah, but you I've, <laughs> I've just heard a laugh outside yeah. the door. Yeah. <laughs> My partner. And, <laughs> and um, Dorothy came along and we had some friends uh, playing. We were playing there and yeah. these gorgeous fellas. Gorgeous, gorgeous. boys. And they, they kept coming up to me and said, you know, after I'd sort of decided to take a break, come on, have a game with us. And I said, oh, no, no. And then I'd sit there and watch them, and they were like, Fast. They, were, so they fast. were very, they're very good. But, it, but in the end, they were like, league players. Yeah. They were so sweet. She can't play. <laughs> I know. She I can't just play. Jumping it's up. Different from being at school, at junior school, with a racket and <laughs> playing, you know. That is funny. not. But well, they were play. very nice. They though. were. They, they were. were really they nice. tolerated me. That's and exactly actually, what they did. That's right. They tolerated me and took turns in having a girl with me. It was really quite funny, wasn't it? See, that would be probably good to 
in the stately home situation to see what sports, if they play tennis or squash or something right, like that, yeah. probably have a go with them. <laughs> Maybe then might not want to have a go. Be so you never, you never know. <laughs> and, yeah. and plus, um, you know, the, the, the world is smaller these days. You know, we travel and stuff. So people have like been on holiday, they want to know about things from different countries. Or, you, or you're going to Sainsbury's, Safeways or wherever, you see a mango, you see a plant and you want to know how to cook them, you know, what to do with them. So it's, it's nice, nice from that point of view. <laughs> You've made me laugh so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the muscles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do a taste there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to drop it in the sauce? Uh, no, just, just just garnish because once we're eating in the hot sauce... Okay. Okay. And also if you're doing this be really careful because it's sugar. You don't want any burns. I've seen the sauce. Yeah. You? In fact, if sugar burns you, it's worse than being burnt by a chocha leaf. <laughs> 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 Do the edges. Okay, and do you want to put just 